What is going on, Roland Empire? Here you guys to give you a video. I've been wanting to do as much as I do Star Wars, especially how I want to do the Star Wars reviews. I want to give you guys Harry Potter reviews. I'm going to start you off with a ranking. And then hopefully when I do the reviews, I will do the reviews. This is one of those franchises that I just really adore. This is one that definitely helped push the cinema for me. And this is just an appreciation that I have. That I'm like, what a perfect time. What a perfect time to give you guys at the very least a list. I like all the movies, I will say that. So it's my least favorite to my favorite favorite of all. But they're all so good. And I will start you guys off with, I will have to say maybe the original. But the original is because it was his first time. You know, the actors are still establishing each other. They're still having this like, you know, they're still, it's the first time of everything. Who knows at the time how the franchise was going to play out. But it was still nice. It was still nice, a grounded work of knowing, okay, we're going to have these narrative, these plots of where we're going to be taking these characters and realizing what's really going to be the franchise. How is the franchise going to live up from here? It's nice. It's a nice, charming movie. It's a nice, good-looking film. So it definitely does help where in first acts go. In first acts, it definitely has that nice stepping stone. It definitely was a stepping stone. And, you know, as we see, as we see where it goes, it really was a, a really good film. Coming in in number seven is going to be The Chamber of Secrets. And The Chamber of Secrets still was a good movie. At the time, I was like, whoa, this is even better than the second one. I really liked just how everything got more darker. I like how everything just got more intense, more to push for the actors. It was a nice way. It definitely was a second act. I liked how the second act really was more darker. There was more stakes. And then just realizing more of like Harry's, you know, background of what he be, how he becomes you know what Voldemort and Harry have all that in, in their interactions and again just everybody else growing though also growing with the the chemistry and just realizing you get more pictures of what all these people motives are you think in the first film they're in a certain way but in the second film they give them more of the motive so it definitely is a nice like also just another warmth looking movie it's a warm charming film and it's a nice way to definitely see these like definitely they are connecting their connections that you can see yeah i understand how one relates to the other coming in at number six it's going to be harry potter and deathly hollows part one a really good movie more of a slow take of a film i i understand though i do like how everything took its time i like how everything was it's like it's it's unique film of the franchise and a way it's just explored more of you know this quest of the horcruxes with harry and all that it's understanding where it's kind of becoming to it's all adding up to one thing having the effects of the last movies with this one now so yeah it's not like a bad movie it's just kind of like how i enjoy them how 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 much do i get from these movies and i like this just yeah the other ones really give these kind of like chemistry like this chemistry of like interactions and acting that i just really like i still do enjoy this one you you are intrigued throughout the intriguing is out throughout whether it gets to the climax too it really is a lot of like you know it's a lot of um it's a lot of finding a lot of finding and you know all this kind of dis the discovery and the discovery is just really good just how it builds like you can show that it definitely pays off in the part two part two definitely pays off for all of this that goes down i really do just i am Intrigue and the intriguing the investment definitely is there. It's one of the strongest parts of this one coming in at number five is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I really do enjoy this movie. I like how this one centers more on the characters of how how they're just growing up. They're growing up and all and at this time everybody's well familiar with everybody. This is a really dark looking movie. And sometimes you might think that's a little bit like hollow, but no, I think there's enough meat in there. It still is a nice feel of what goes on. So in a way, it's like predicting how the third act plays. And it's nice to know just everybody, what they do for, you know, how they just live their lives. And then more of development with everybody that you come to know already. And just seeing how, again, how everybody, including definitely Harry, since he's the main guy, how everything is just burning on him and how, you know, it's just how how to deal with certain stuff and definitely shows with the way this one definitely starts, the way it ends. How it starts to hide ends, it's an interesting ride and it's still really enjoyable and it's a nice looking like film, like I said, and it's a nice little kind of development push, definitely a character development push for a lot of these actors that, you know, as we go through these movies, you know, you see that, you know, one helps the other, one helps the other and then it just makes the characters, you know, more satisfying. It, there's more payoffs because of this because of how far we are in this franchise now this franchise really you know at this point you know you understand what you're getting yourself into and you understand that you know you have all these all these adversities the adversities that now come to play and all that and you understand that you know 
there's um there's more to what you are like what is the quest the quest that you're trying to overcome and that stuff i mean and at number four is harry potter and the goblet of fire this one i can tell is a bit it could be divisive because of how the filmmaking was done how certain kind of stories were presented i still like the movie in the way where like definitely how it harpens from the pre the last one to this one now definitely starts the new dark tone definitely just carries on that we're more now pg-13 like a more pg-13 version of a friendly of harry potter so it's nice to know now that everything has been going out you get the full form of voldemort nice way to start out with like you know the those quidditch triwizard cups or the the beginning of the what goes on where they go see and the way it ends with the climax you know with robert pattinson daniel radcliffe so yeah it's like harry really is just this is full on now any thought of emotions any kind of problems you have they're more adult now. They're more adult now. It's very heavy. You know, you might think from the first suit to this one, you might wait a bit of an age depending how you are. But if you're in that age now, you can just go through it. You could go through it because it shows that now anything is more interesting, more heavy. It's more the burden really starts there. That's what goes for, you know, the connections. The connections of how one movie helps. That's why the burden really is here. And this shows how heavy, just how in intriguing and just how, how more fulfilling more fulfilling you're gonna get to the meat the meat of the story and what contribute to like all of this and how it just how it just it, it how it how the adversity just goes how the adversity just starts and all coming in at number three is harry potter and the order of the phoenix this was an interesting one where you're just like hmm this you know felt very like now this is yates yates takes over and i thought maybe it was like oh maybe it's too it's still fun and creative but you know maybe it's, it should there should be more style and all that but still the substance the substance that it has this is a really like meaty juicy harry potter this is the harry potter where a lot of the lore really just takes front and center you start questioning and you start realizing a lot of morals of definitely of all the professors and all that and definitely seeing more of the students with harry just realize that there are more connections more connections and everybody else more now gets a spotlight this definitely helps where it's there's certain arcs that get wrapped up here a lot of the wrap-ups here are arcs that started in you know a few movies and then with this one it just kind of ties up and then eventually there's always a part of a film that you know because of something that connects like you, it takes you that much and then the next film takes you for more so this is a nice one that definitely has a lot of juice a lot of bone and it really is now this is like fully like harry's getting his army harry now you know there's a nice voldemort and dumbledore interaction and all that and now there's like there's no playing around there's no more playing this is what i want this is my mission this is what everybody is like lying now and now really we really realize how everybody's trying it's fitting out to what they're what their their purposes, what their purpose and values are in in these films, a lot of it is really centered in this. This is now where like Harry has to step up. He has to step up and now take on this, just take on anything he can, like any adversity, any adversity he has with an army, with the army, because he is now, you know, the one that's leading the charge. He's leading the charge in that way, and it's you know, it's become that that you know, it, it's it's his time and all. Coming in at number two is Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2. What a nice way to end, you know, the series. Definitely pays off with what you see all the films. Definitely that part one, like I said, part two is just, this is now at the time where everything's all at war. Voldemort and Harry now, there's no more playing around. Voldemort and Harry are out for each other. Everybody plays their part. You know, people, they're... <sighs> sacrifices have, be, have to be done those that still live still did their purpose and it's just now you're like okay it's um everybody is being attacked but it's between these two this is where you get the full revelation of what everybody has been going through definitely snape you get of dumbledore now also like just what went on with the you know the interaction with harry so harry gets a full understanding under, understanding of what was going on we, this explains a lot and definitely for those who that were fans definitely get that payoff the fans get the nice payoff that you know was from the first movie all the way to the eighth and it's an incredible way this is a way to wrap up definitely it took its time but it was worth it it took its time with the story and how many films it took but it definitely pays off and you know you get a nice satisfying ending now like you get you get a lot of the good action you still get character moments so i like that you get a lot of action character moments they sprinkle in as best as they can and then they do a nice send up they show an idea they show an idea of how how the stories could go on so it's a nice way it catered to a lot and it did a lot like 
I did a lot that like studios, studios would want and still what the fans, what the fans truly deserve. And that really is what's important. And I really do like that, you know, this is a nice way to just wrap up everything that was from this franchise. Coming in at number one is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. To me, still the most well-looking movie, the wet, the most tension movie, the most like the stakes just really rise from this. Comparing it from the first two to the next six, this one is definitely the template of what started it. Again, a lot of the character motifs here, you expect one thing, but it's another thing. And still, Harry's now like, like yeah, it's like it's it's not just the same thing. There's still more. There's more. There's more that are being that that want him for his for different reasons and still having more of a the lore being expanded like harry has more now like his godfather with series and obviously voldemort you know he not really is in this one but the presence is there but it definitely comes back to him where obviously it pays off with the films but with this one showed more of a character study this was a nice character study for a lot of people especially hermione ron and harry and it's just nice way to just just to get everything like like i'm glad that the director definitely helped the actors the director to the actors really helped um ex, ex like add everything to like what goes on when people's emotions and just having establishments of shots and all that and realizing that you know this is a very heavy now this is a start of a very heavy kind of like harry potter dr dramatic episode like the dramatic episodes and all this is a nice way to just kind of showed that you know these people are human this definitely felt like it definitely grounded like the people i like that it really grounded them and it gave them like a way to like whoa we can't be doing the same thing again so you know if we can't do the same thing we got to push we got to make stuff fresh we got to make stuff fresh and we got to make new things to carry on just the the freshness of this franchise to keep it fresh you gotta keep the freshness of the franchise and that's really what this sells you know this particular film and it's a nice way to just kind of just 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 get everything in motion get everything in motion just have a really good you know really good um uh story and and uh really good <sighs> dramatic piece just a nice establishing sh shot yeah, for 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 these characters, just for these films and just and all that. So let me know, guys, what you thought. Did you guys, you know, hate these movies? Do you guys like these movies? You know, these are just my opinions, guys. Again, these are these are just my opinions. I really do like this franchise. I really do like this franchise where it's one of my favorites of all time. All this in the comments below. And as always, Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.